We're here today in New York City with best-selling author Steve Barry to discuss his latest thriller, The Third Secret. Thank you very much for being with us today. Steve, I absolutely burned through the pages of this book. Uh, I mean, can you share some of the story with our viewers? In 1917, the Virgin Mary appeared to three children. She appeared and gave them three secrets. Two were told to the world very quickly. The third secret, though, was different. It was sealed away in the Vatican, read only by popes, until May of 2000, when John Paul II finally told the world. Now, that part's all true. I tweak it a little bit. Now, a cardinal who schemes to be pope knows there's more to that secret, and what he knows will change everything. Strict Catholicism and personal faith are often at odds in your story. Is there room in the church for both? Certainly there is, and this book deals with that conflict. It also deals with the line between faith and religion. The traditionalists are on one end, the progressives are on the other, but then there's a third player that comes into the game, and that's what makes The Third Secret so interesting and the book so interesting. It's that third player who enters the game and really determines the outcome of it. So now we have a new pope. Pretty great timing, I guess, for you. It was kind of remarkable that it, that it worked out that way, particularly in light of the similarities between my pope and the new pope. You know, you, you really made me feel what it's like to live with a pope. Did you have some kind of insider working for you? No, not a, just, just uh, I, to be honest with you, when I saw Cardinal Redzinger come out onto the balcony and the German was elected pope, it was rather, it, it was sort of shocking. It was shocking to all of us, really. But I wrote this book in 1999, so that, that, that was actually conceived about six years ago. I made some very educated guesses that turned out to be right, and the timing just worked out very well. The Marian visions at um, Fatima and Medjugorje play a central role in this story. Yeah, Medjugorje is a fascinating place, and I knew very little about it before I wrote this book. That's the place on earth where the Virgin Mary has appeared more than any other place. She's still appearing to this day to three seers there. That is probably the most visited Marian site on the planet. Have you ever been inside the Vatican? I have. We visit, I visited it years ago, and in fact, I'm going back this year, so we're going back again. So I have been there. It's an amazing place. Your book shows us that guys in robes are just guys in robes. How do you think this portrayal will be received by the people in the church? Well, I hope they would, and, and, I, and, I, and these guys in robes, by the way, are brilliant. All of them are, know exactly what they're doing. They're, they're very skilled in what they are, and I hope they they're certainly are intelligent to know this is a novel. But I very much wanted to depict the men in the Vatican as men, because that's what they are. You brilliantly woven biblical passages into your storyline. Well, I was thumbing through the Bible, and I was going through it. Uh, I was doing some research, actually, for another novel that I'm working on, and I was coming through that, and I came across these passages that had great relevance to the third secret plot. And when you read those passages in light of the third secret, they're, they're particularly relevant. They really have a lot of bearing on it. What I especially liked about this novel is how it mixes real information and history with the story. About 90% of the book is factual because I try to keep it as factually accurate as possible. Like you said, you burn through it. I want, I want everybody to burn through it and enjoy it. Read it first, then read the writer's note, and you'll know exactly where that line was drawn. The Third Secret is a remarkable international thriller which tackles some of the most controversial ideas of our time. So pick up your copy today and read the book.